This is the Xiaomi 13T Pro, and how good is it in 2024? So after months of using this phone, which is the Xiaomi 13T Pro, let's talk over how good really is it? Is it worth your money? Or if you have the chance to pick one up, is it the one that I would recommend? So pretty much I got this phone in the first day of the release and I have been using it as my daily driver ever since. I'm not going to go into specs and details. If you want to see that in the top right corner of the screen right now, you're going to have a detailed review from the first months of using it. But let's go over how it holds up in the longer term now that I had it for several months. First off, the camera, the Leica camera setup on the back is just phenomenal, both for photos and videos. Even in low light, you can really take great videos, which Usually low light means the worst, but in this case you can record in 4K 60 frames per second in low light and it performs so well. For photos you can have in both the Leica or the Vibrant and both of them look great. Sometimes they change between those, but usually I stick to the authentic. And you can record in 4K 30 frames per second with the log format, which is really cool if you want to have that kind of details, but overall it can shoot in 10 bit. The build quality is very nice and it's really, I really love this phone for its build quality. It both has the rounded edges, but also the sharper edges on the front, so it's like the best of both worlds. One of the caveats that a lot of people said is it has 120 watt charging, which is really quick. And from my personal opinion, it's literally the 18 minute mark that they said. I actually did some testing and it did happen out to be around the 18, 20 minute mark to get 100% charged, but you have to actually enable the boost feature and not use the phone while it's charging. So it has to be, you know, the screen has to be turned off, but overall, it can charge really quickly. With that comes how good the battery is. Well, the battery is, I would say, phenomenal. Together with Evie, we have both the same phone. So she has the blue version, I have the black version, and we have to say, we are astonished how good this performs. It's really quick to charge, but also it holds up really nicely. And especially after you give some time to it, well, after some time, it kind of learns your pattern, what you use, what you're not using, when you're using, and it just happens out to be really nicely optimized to really serve you as long as possible. And Evie has the blue version, which has the vegan leather back, which is really nice to your touch. Actually, the glass one is also great to your touch, but it's a fingerprint magnet, which I hate, and because of that, I always have it in a case, but I would rather have it safe than sorry in this case anyway. One more thing that I wanted to mention is the performance of this phone and the screen. So going from the performance side, for daily tasks, it's pretty much seamless, going from everything to everything, just whatever you put is gonna work nicely, and you can actually play games at higher quality and frame rates. And in terms of the screen, which is another highlight of this phone, it also has a screen which is an OLED and it is a crystal rest screen, which means it's a 1.5K resolution display, which means it's more pixels. In other words, it looks very, very sharp. And because it's an AMOLED, the blacks and everything look phenomenal. It can have an always on display. For example, I have the snowy peaks, which really nicely work because you can really have like a moving background, which is really futuristic in my opinion. Even when I lock it, I still have this as my, you know, background. I love those, you know, super wallpapers from Xiaomi. Overall, this so far has been my daily driver for the last couple of months and I am loving it. The only thing I think they could actually put here that I would love a little bit more is because we have the wide angle, which is really good, but it's lower class quality compared to the two main setup cameras, which is the main camera, which is a 50 megapixel, slightly bigger, which has a really nice bokeh thanks to this and really nice and low light. Well, the other is a 50 megapixel too, but it's smaller sensor and it's a 50 millimeter equivalent, so like a times two zoom. But I wish we had like a bigger zoom to add to this because for me, 50 millimeter is not much of a zoom. It's more like a creative shot with a little bit more bokeh or a little bit more creativity, but it's not something I would use for longer shots, something a little bit farther. So I wish there was one more, but overall the Leica setup here is just amazing for both photos and videos. So how would I say it works in 2024? I think it's still a great pick for a really strong smartphone, especially at the price it's given. And I've seen so many different deals for it, which make it an even better deal than it was initially. 
So I can really highly recommend this phone for my own personal usage. With that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and I'll see you next time.